And right now we're going to get our top story panel's take on what this all means. A la Hollywood style, Reverend Joe Watkins back, Rachel Maddow, Georgette Mossbacker. Uh, Reverend, the last time you conducted a, a wedding ceremony, did you make ago. reference to a, a cat, a comb, <laughs> and a pan? <laughs> no, no, I didn't. Do you understand what well, this ceremony is it, about? It's, I don't agree with Tom Cruise when he says that you can be a Christian and a Scientologist. You know, you can only follow one master. You can't follow two masters. And either you follow Jesus or you follow L. Ron Hubbard. I, I choose to follow Jesus. And the ceremony that I do, of course, are, are Christ-centered ceremonies, where and, and hopefully the people love each other. In this wedding, what I'm hoping is that Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes love each other more than anything else. They love each other and they pledge themselves to each other. Are you surprised, Rachel, that the people care about this as much as they do? I mean, after all, this is a guy that was dumped by a studio he was associated with for a very long time yeah. because it was felt that he had alienated women with his antics as of late, not the least of which was proclaiming his love for his newfound, uh, soon-to-be-found wife uh, on a sofa. While jumping up and down on a sofa. I mean, it's true. If Katie Holmes had not become engaged to Tom Cruise, we'd all still be Wikipedia, Wikipedia-ing her, looking her up, trying to figure out exactly why do I know her? What was she in? Is she famous? <laughs> they, they're not actually that big a deal on their own, but the, ma the, the pageantry around this, you know, we don't have royals as Americans, and so we have sports stars and movie stars, and those who choose to tap into our obsession with celebrity the way these guys have can make, you know, they, this can this will make their whole careers. You feeling blissful about this one, Georgia? Well, I'll you know tell a you. thing or two about getting married. I'll don't you? tell you what, Paul. I'll jump on a sofa for Tom Cruise. I mean, <laughs> excuse me. I um, you know, this is a fairy tale kind of. Th it's tabloid. I mean, we got a castle. We got a beautiful woman. We've got a movie star. We've got a baby. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that great for a diversion like this from the really important things in life. I mean, this is just one of those, you know, why people read romance novels. Do you I mean, think people are partly drawn to this, besides the, the fantasy and the majesty or whatever it is we're gonna see play out, that they just think he's one really odd guy? I think that Tom Cruise does come across as a little and that's part of the fascination. He comes across as a little kooky. Not to George um, yet. No, no I mean, her heart. he comes across as a, you know, a gorgeous hunk of a movie you know, star. You know that you would I mean, dwarf him, right? I mean, you'd tower over him. Does that weird you out at all? No. No? This no, he's no still problem? cute. He is. He's I just, and Top Gun? Oh, let me see that movie again. <laughs> We haven't seen any Top Gun windows like they had displayed in, in Rome this week. But a, a closing thought on and the fascination with Scientology and all kinds of assumptions that people launch to about how, um, well, I don't want to say it despairingly. I, do you think people misunderstand it? Oh, well, I think or, so. I think a lot of people may misunderstand the faith. I've, I've had a chance to read about comparative religions. I know a little bit about different faiths. Uh, I, I choose the faith that I that I follow because uh, I believe uh, I believe that that's the answer. But uh, the good thing is that Tom Cruise is sincere. I think about his faith uh, more than anything else. And the fact that he wants to make sure that the wedding is done uh, in concert with the faith, I think is a good thing. People ought to do that who are Christians and and uh, and Jews uh, and Muslims and everything else. All right. What are the chances? Of is one giant ruse and he's getting married in Cleveland tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He yeah. could be fooling us. Yeah. We've well, seen we, people we pull weren't this invited. Off. None of us were invited. No, exactly. <laughs> That's actually exactly. where I need to get to. Yeah. Right oh, now, well, good so. luck. <laughs> Reverend Joe Watkins, Rachel Maddow, Georgia, Tomas Backer, glad to have all of you with us tonight. We're